everyone, it's Tim from TimGarnier.com and I'm here again with another painting tips and tricks video. This week we're going to talk a little bit about sunsets and sunrises. I get quite a few questions about color and color mixing and how to mix your oil paint or your acrylic paint without making it muddy and making the colors really, really vibrant. And that's one of the harder things to do, especially with sunrises and sunsets. So what I'm going to do in this video is give you three really good tips on making your sunsets and sunrises a little more vibrant and a little more luminous. Okay, for our first tip, this one might be a little bit painful, but sometimes the truth hurts. And the truth is, you really need good high quality paint to get really vibrant color. There's a reason why some paint is really expensive. And right now we're talking about oil paint. And um, you know, some oil paints are really expensive and you look at the price and you're like, whoa, no way am I buying that? That's way too expensive. Um, but honestly, it makes a big difference. Um, for my paintings, my oil paintings, I use uh, Michael Harding paint for the most part. And now when it comes to painting sunsets or sunrises, you have a lot of reds, yellows, and oranges. And those happen to be some of the most expensive colors. When it comes to handmade professional paint, there's a lot more pigment in the paint. So when it dries, it dries really vibrant and really kind of luminous. When you buy cheaper paint, they, use, they don't use quite as much pigment, so it dries a little bit chalkier and it doesn't feel like the light bounces off it as well, so it doesn't get quite as vibrant. For this painting, especially through the sunset area, I used uh, cadmium red light, cadmium orange, and then cadmium yellow medium. And the brand I used was Michael Harding. Uh, it's a handmade paint uh, out of the UK, and um, it's a really, really nice paint. So when you go to paint your sunsets with a really high quality paint, you get that really nice, vibrant color, um, and it's gonna be really luminous and really, really nice. So tip number one is when you buy your paint, when you buy red, yellow, and orange, um, especially the cadmium colors, buy a really high quality paint. It doesn't have to be the top, top one, but try to get those reds, yellows, and oranges, at least in the middle level paints, and you'll see a big difference. Um, it's sad, but it's true. The more money you spend on the paint, the better it's gonna look. When it comes to raw umber, uh, burnt sienna, and all those kind of staple grays, um, even some of your blues, you might not have to spend as much on those, but you know it'd be best to buy all professional paint because they all look great. Um, but if you wanna spend a little bit more in your budget, do it on reds, oranges, and yellows for your sunsets. Uh, you'll, you'll notice a big difference. Number two is the value in your paint. So when you're painting a sunset um, and you wanna create this kind of area right here, this luminous quality, sometimes you have to use white or a light color to lighten your paint. Um, but a lot of times what people will do is use titanium white or flake white. Flake white's okay. Um, but titanium white or zinc white, and those are actually kind of cool colors. And what they do is they kind of suck the color right out of your reds, oranges, and yellows. So when you add that white in there, um, titanium white especially, it cools the color down and it kind of sucks the color out. So um, it kind of makes your reds pink. So it kind of makes your oranges kind of pink too. So tip number two is try to avoid titanium white um, and zinc white. You can use flake white. Uh, it's a little bit warmer in color, so it doesn't really uh, mute out your color quite as much. But um, what I suggest is getting a tube of warm white or maybe Naples yellow, but mostly warm white to mix in your oranges and reds. When you use warm white, it doesn't kill the color. Um, it lightens the value a little bit and you know you kind of still have that warm orangey glow in your color. Titanium white's gonna kill that a little bit. So warm white instead of titanium white when you're increasing the values of your oranges and reds. Okay, tip number three is to try to avoid creating mud with your complementary colors. Now that's really a lot easier said than done. When you're doing a sunset and you have blue and you have orange, what might happen when you kind of connect those colors up is you create mud. Um, complementary colors tend to mix into gray or kind of brown. 
Um, orange and blue especially kind of mix into a brown. And you don't really want brown in your sunset. So what I suggest doing when you create a sunset is you focus your colors separately. So you start with your oranges and reds down here and you start with your blues up here and you don't connect them up anywhere until later in the painting. Uh, what you wanna do is have it kind of dry a little bit and paint your orange up as high as you want it to go. After that has dried, then you can take your blue and then mix a little zinc white in with it and you can transition it down over your orange and what will happen is the zinc white will make that blue a little more transparent and it will make a more natural kind of grayish color or a more sky color. So try not to mix your orange right into your blue because you're gonna get this muddy brownish color which you're gonna be really disappointed with. What you should do is work separately with those two colors away from each other. Work them close to each other, let them dry a little bit, then use zinc white in your mix and mix it over your orange so you get a nice gray and not a muddy brown. Okay, I'm gonna throw in an added bonus tip for this quick tips video. Uh, the last thing is contrast. And what you wanna do when you're creating a vibrant um, sunset, especially something going behind a cloud, the sun going behind a cloud, is you wanna create this really bright contrast. So try not to make your values too bright in your reds and oranges. So that way you leave a lot of room to create a really bold, bright value in one spot. And that will create um, a lot of contrast and you can create a little bit of glow from that contrast and it will look like a glowing sun. It's hard to create a glow um, that mimics the actual sun. But what you want to do is beef up the contrast as much as you can by keeping your values kind of in the mid-tone and that way you leave a lot of room for a really, really bright hot spot where the sun is. Okay, so that covers my quick tips and tricks video on painting sunsets in oil. If you have any questions, you can visit my website at www.timgonyer.com. I have a lot of online painting lessons, DVD painting lessons, and in-person workshops. I also have cloud brushes, uh, brush sets, different types of things that might help you out in your painting adventures. So head on over to www.timgonyer.com and check that out. I hope you enjoyed this week's painting tips and tricks video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon.